People get this confused all the time. This is hyperpigmentation. This is sun damage. This is hyperpigmentation. And this is sun damage. It's really important to know the difference because we treat them differently. The key difference from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is that this is not from the sun. It's actually a trauma response. It is a cause of excess melanin or your melanocytes being overactive that's causing extra pigment in the skin. Sun damage is not a trauma response. It's literally just years of accumulated sun exposure. I think some people think that the sun damage just pops up one day, but it honestly is years of 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, an hour here, three hours here, all of those accumulated minutes of you thinking it's not affecting you, that compound to look like this. If your sun damage looks like this, you're going to have to start considering things like in-office treatment, lasers, chemical peels. You also probably need to consider some hydroquinone and cycling on and off of it. We do treat hyperpigmentation a little bit differently. So in this case, what you need is a good tyrosinase inhibitor. Tyrosinase is a key conversion factor to melanin production in the skin. So when you use one of those ingredients, you're actually suppressing excess melanin production. A few examples of what you're looking for are ingredients like kojic acid, tranexamic acid, and alpha arbutin. Your dark spots will only get darker unless you wear your sunscreen and diligently, so definitely make sure you do that. One more thing, it is not normal for any of your hyperpigmentation to linger for months and months and months. Your skin has a natural desquamation process, that means you have a natural cell turnover process, so these should be fading with time. There's only two reasons why your spots are not fading. One, you're not wearing enough sunscreen. It needs to be two finger lengths for the face, neck, and ears, no butts. It has to be that much. And two, your barrier is not healthy. If you have an impaired barrier, it does not matter what type of products you're putting on, your skin is not gonna be receiving them and getting the benefits that it needs to. It means that your cell turnover process is probably not happening the way it should be. And that ultimately means that your skin is not gonna repair the way it should, which means any trauma response like this is gonna stick around way longer than it should. I know that was a lot of information, so if you have any questions, let me know.